Hello and welcome to weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. So today we're going to discuss how to model a social media strategy. What we want to do is to determine the expected number of customers from the strategy. And this is what we need to figure out. We need to set our marketing budget, right? An allocation to the strategy for years one to five. If our business is seasonal, we need to um, think about how the budget allocation will change over the course of a year. And then we need to also determine the customer acquisition cost. Now, that is always difficult for an early stage startup, especially if you don't have any data. So what I suggest is to use an industry norm. The marketing conversion rates are typically per channel or maybe per industry. So they're not specific to your product. And so as long as you do the research, you'll be able to get an estimate of what you can expect to get from deploying money in this channel. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna get this done. So here you see the assumptions. The social media user acquisition cost is $20. The budget is 5 million. Here we have a seasonal allocation throughout the year. Uh, we have to make sure that this adds up to 100%. So the first step here is to calculate a monthly social media budget. So we're gonna do it by multiplying the monthly allocation times the overall budget. We're gonna anchor it so that we can paste this formula along. Okay, and now we're gonna calculate the number of new customers by dividing our monthly budget by the uh, user acquisition cost. Again, uh, we're going to anchor it. We can also make sure that we're not getting any partial conversions by using the floor function and rounding this to our zero decimal points and paste this along. Okay, and finally, the last step is that we can take it all the way to revenues here. We're assuming our average purchase uh, amount. Right, this is our discretionary decision based on our analysis, what we expect the customer to spend money on. So we can take the number of new customers, multiply it by what they spend, and piece this along to get one year revenues. And you see that they're not very high based on the budget. So either uh, our customers need to be spending more money or um, the acquisition cost needs to come down. Right, and this is a very important part of the financial analysis is to do that kind of work. So this is it. Thank you for watching. Please comment below if you like this video, share with your friends and other founders. Sign up for this YouTube channel to get more weekly financial modeling tips every Tuesday. And if you want to learn our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, sign up for our master class. The link is in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week. Bye.